I feel like I'm preparing for an interview. <sighs> hey guys welcome back to my channel i know i know i know it's been a while did you miss me because i missed you guys big time like i have missed you guys a lot i assure you guys like i had a legit reason why i have been absent truly speaking um so like what have you guys been up to let me know me apart from getting sick and um, getting fat nothing um we're off same oh i'm having my recess semester so i'm doing my internship now so um we really don't have anything to do and uganda is now in lockdown again for 42 days so yeah we have that time so um hopefully i will be consistent this time because at least i don't have an excuse so how have you guys been doing hope you've been well welcome back to my channel my name is Chad Lee. If you are just like a new viewer, you are welcome. Welcome to the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome all the same. Thank you guys for coming. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about something. Maybe I would say like a bit sensitive to some people. And that is friends. Or I would say friendship in general. So that's why I have my tea here with me. Because you know, you guys... It's about to get real. I'm just going to be talking about um, majorly for me what I have learned when it comes to friendship, like my experiences. And um, there were some really hard truth that I have to really accept about myself because um, it's very easy for us to blame our friends and be like, oh, she did this, she did that, but what did you do? Hmm? You know, like if you have like a friend that You've been so close to for a very long time and all of a sudden she starts misbehaving. Are you just going to be like, oh, I'm done with this friendship or will you want to like find out what really happened, what's making her act the way she's acting? So you guys, yeah, we are going to get real in this video and um, we're going to talk like, you know, let's be honest to ourselves. So guys, one of the major things I have learned when it comes to friendship is that not all friendship is meant to last i learned that the hard way not all friendship is meant to last forever you guys and i have been someone that has tried to keep like relationship with people because they were like very important in my life they were there for me when i needed them and it didn't really occur to me until like truly speaking last year that it's okay for you to um for you not to be friends with someone anymore like it's completely okay so there was this lady that said something on tiktok i was going through tiktok and she said something she was like a broken relationship is not a failed relationship truly because what's the point of keeping someone in your life and that person is consistently hurting you or they are consistently hurting the person like it just doesn't make sense like what's the point of of having that kind of friendship like for me it's just rubbish truly speaking and i have been in situations whereby i have kept people in my life like i'm like i always remember oh we've been through this together we've done this together we've done that together and but probably that is just the end like god has put them in your life at that moment because he knew that you needed them and after that most times i discovered that um, um, I try to hold on to that relationship, you know, and like, it's okay to outgrow relationships. It's okay for you to, um, try and move on to something else, something different in, in your life. It's okay for whoever, like whoever that friend is or you to outgrow relationship. People change and that's the thing. People constantly change. It might be due to your environment or your experiences, but people are constantly changing. You don't expect someone that you've known 10 years ago to still be that same person. It can either be for better or for worse. And sometimes it doesn't necessarily even have to be bad for you, for you and someone to not to be. Sometimes when you are not, when you have a friend and you guys are not even, you're not gaining anything from that friendship. They're like, it's okay for everyone to go their way. Like when you feel like there is nothing that that person has to offer or you're not offering anything to that person, 
then I feel like it's okay for you to be like, okay, like, let me, you know. And please don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say if you have a friend that is in a bad situation and you feel like you can't gain anything from that person, like, then you just leave that person. That's, that is, that is not what I'm saying. What I'm trying to explain is that sometimes you have someone that you're in a, that yeah, that is a friend that has been a dear one to you and you notice that over time maybe the person has changed in one way or the other or over time like you notice that you guys don't connect anymore as you used to like it's okay for you guys to move on to other friendship that will give you something that you feel you need because we have we have, we, we have we have friends for 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 a reason it's either maybe because you just to keep you entertained is either because you need like a shoulder to cry on you need maybe someone to listen to you to advise you like people have different reasons why they have friends so like um it's okay and i learned that the hard way i because i kept holding on to a certain um friendship like holding on to it and i'm like no this person was there for me when i needed it and you know we'll go through all that and it's like you know the person was like dude like it's over like you know like just move on and it was really painful to me but then i came to that realization and i was like that's cool that's completely okay so yeah that's one of the things that i have learned that it's okay for friendship to break up like they don't have to last forever they really don't at all so guys another thing that i have learned Throughout this, my journey of um, finding myself and, you know, trying to figure out who is a friend and who isn't and is that you don't have to, you don't have to have a friend that is checking up on you every day for that person to be like a legit friend. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Like, um, so I have friends that... I have not had any conversation, like, I've, I've not spoken to them for, like, it can go for even a month, but truly speaking, I tell you guys, when we finally speak, it's, it's, it's worth it, and I discovered that a majority of the times, I try to force myself to, or force, force that relationship, I don't know if you get what I mean, like, I try to be like, oh, but we, t if we talk once in a while, and we have this in-depth um conversation i can just imagine if we talk every day and then i try to force it and i'm like oh maybe if i talk to them every day then um i'll be able to like we'll be able to have that conversation it just doesn't feel real it doesn't feel natural truly speaking and i have like about three or four of my friends that are like that that honestly speaking i have one that i've not spoken to like most of if we even speak to each other is like to check up on each other like hey you've been on my mind how are you hope everything is fine and then after that it's like we have nothing to discuss but like when that time comes like when i need a friend when i need someone like when i need someone to advise me when i need someone to just maybe look at something from a different perspective and i want someone to to listen to data huh? to to hear what i have to say then for me it's like i i know that i can count on them i don't know if you, i don't know if you have those type of friends but like truly speaking i have tried to force it i'll be like oh let me just talk let me check up on this person let me check up on this person like every day and then like i ended up it just didn't feel natural it felt like it was forced yeah it felt forced and i was like um okay let me just let this thing go and when i just let it go and i just started talking to them that way hmm, it just became you know like it's just they are just friendships that are like that like they're not just meant to be a um every like talking to someone every day i have friends that i speak to every day i'm saying like sometimes i go i'm saying Akpa, sometimes i go like i can go to this and i don't talk to her and she's like she will send me a message and she's like so now that you didn't talk to me today like how is your body doing you like things like that so of course i have those friends but then i also have other friends that they are really dear to me i love them with all my heart like i love them but i don't talk to them so often i don't talk to them so often and you know it's completely okay so that's another thing that I have learned. You guys, I learned this in during lockdown. 
last last year lockdown not this lockdown last year lockdown and i've been trying to have this conversation on my youtube channel but i just didn't know how to go about it or even like how to even start that conversation but um finally 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 like i was like yeah it's i just feel like it's the right time for me to um talk about this yeah it baffles me that you can have friends um and that are jealous of you being friends with other people i don't know if you if if that that has ever happened to you this just happened to me recently and it just baffles me like it's it's shocking because I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. I, okay, I have never experienced it. Truly speaking, like having a friend, and because of my friend is close to someone else, and then I'm jealous of it. Like it's like I want her to myself. I don't want her to have friends outside. And um, I would understand if maybe you're trying to look out for your friend. Like maybe if she's with going moving around with bad company, and like you just feel like um, it's not healthy for her. But I'm talking about you just want that friend for yourself. Like you just want to have that friend for yourself. And um, this person I'm talking about, we used to be like, we used to talk also. And I don't know what happened all of a sudden. She just had a problem with me being friends with someone else. And it's it's very funny to me because I just don't understand why. Like why all of a sudden? Like why... Um, why 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 uh, why do you s suddenly feel the need not to like it's as if and like she she talks to me perfectly well but then like you keep hearing information from people and like it's the same you, you know it's a different thing when you're just hearing from one person but you, you, when you start hearing information from people and i'm like if she has a problem with me why not just you know approach me and be like hey you did this or i don't like and that's even the funniest part like she doesn't even complain about her not um liking me or me doing anything to her it's just oh um she just doesn't like the fact that i'm friends with that person like she just wants that friend to be left to her and like just her like she doesn't want she doesn't want the friend to be friends with me and i think it's specifically me because other people like she doesn't have a problem with with her being with that girl the other friend of mine being close to them but me she has a problem with her being close to me and it just baffles me and i don't really know how how to how to approach that problem that is i think that's one of the things that i've not really um sorted like i've not really figured out how to work walk around it because i don't know should i approach her you guys what do you think let me know in the comment section because i really don't know do you think i should approach her and just try and clear the air because i was thinking approaching her would be like people have been talking and if she denies it what 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 other choice do i have i don't know if you understand what i mean so yeah i i've never experienced that but like apparently that's like a thing because i was talking to someone they were like yes that's a thing like you can have friends that don't even want you to be friends with other people like it's it happens and i'm like oh it's like you can have friends that do toxic things but they're not toxic like you can have friends that offend you that do things like at one point in in your friendship that is like re that has really hurt you but but it's not them it doesn't define them and that's the reason why I'm bringing this before the other one. So the reason why I'm bringing this before the other toxic this is because it's like you have to learn to differentiate it. Like you have to be able to differentiate the difference between um, someone that is just toxic and someone that can maybe do that. Like maybe you can have a friend that does toxic, that has done maybe something toxic something bad let me use that word i think toxic is like a bit too strong for that um in your life and um it has happened to me and for me it's one of the ways i understand that okay this person is not just bad it's just she just maybe she's just someone that did something bad is that they never repeat it like they do that you talk about it they apologize and um and then you just move on like you guys move on and like they never repeat the same thing 
Now it's different from someone that does the same thing. You talk to that person about this, like you're like, you did this, I don't like it, I don't like I'm not I don't appreciate what you did, and they keep repeating the same thing. Like they would do it again and they always have excuses why they did that, and then they'll always somehow 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 end up blaming you. So those are like two different things. And I have learned over time to like be able to differentiate that. Oh, this person isn't bad. She's just not perfect. And she did this because like, yeah, I'm also not perfect. Right. And I have like, um, I'm also not perfect. And I have also done things to off that have offended people and they've forgiven me. So like, it's very important for you to be able to differentiate between, oh, this person is just toxic and no, this person is just, it was just like maybe a bad day or, you know, people have flaws, people have this thing. But don't consistently keep keep someone in your life, someone that is really hurting you, someone that doesn't make you feel good about yourself. You keep that person in your life and and you're like, oh, you should forgive me. Because you can actually forgive someone and end the relationship. Let me say it again. You can forgive someone and still not be friends with that person. So if you have a friend and you're forgiving that fr friend, like the friend did something and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm forgiving you. If you feel it in your heart, if you feel it in your spirit, auntie, uncle, if you feel it in your spirit that those people or that person is not someone that you want to be in your life, it's completely okay. You guys, we choose our friends. Our friends are not supposed to choose us. You choose your friend, choose someone that makes you, at the end of the day, whoever your friend is supposed to make you feel good about yourself. And back on toxic friends, guys, you have a friend and they're like, oh, you know me, I'm just me, I'm just myself, I'm just real. And let me tell you guys, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. I understand that it's very okay for you to be free and try to explain yourself and try to express yourself rather. Like if if you have a friend and your friend did something that you don't like, it's it, like, why are we friends? It's completely okay to try to express yourself and be like, hey, you did this, I don't like it. Now, that is a completely different thing. But it's how you say it. Some people can be so rude and people mistaking rudeness for like, oh, I'm just trying to be real. No, ma'am, you are not trying to be real. That is like really being rude. You can sit someone down and talk to someone and you're like, hey, you did this or I noticed you did that and I, I, I don't appreciate it. Not embarrassing people, talking to, shouting. Like if I'm truly your friend and you feel like, oh, I did something that you don't like, why not walk up to me and talk to me? Why would you come and talk to me in front of people? Like, I don't know if you, if, you are, if you get what I'm trying to say. Like, you have to just be, you have to learn to differentiate all those things. Like, truly speaking, truly speaking. So, yeah, if, I, if you can live with anything here, it's like, it's okay for you to have a friend and the friend does something to offend you and you don't want the friendship again. It's okay. So, and now, finally, like, one of the major things, like, that was a hard pill to swallow, you guys very hard like i said in the beginning of this video guys majority of us we like to blame other people it's so easy so easy for you to blame someone for a misunderstanding to be like oh this person did this or this person did that but you guys one of the things i have learned um in 2020 truly speaking during this lockdown is that you can be the toxic one yeah you can be the toxic one you can be that toxic friend and and people don't always see it that way i don't consider myself to be a toxic friend but i've cons but i i know that i have been in a situation whereby i have done some i have offended friends like i've done things that i look at myself and i'm like what were you thinking and for me um, it's something that I try to tell myself, okay, you've done this, make sure it doesn't happen again. Like I become very um, conscious about not repeating the same mistakes again. You can be the toxic one. My battery died. So yeah, I'm just so frustrated because I was done with everything. <laughs> I was 
was done with recording and I was like, let me go and I just saw like it was off. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I was talking about my sister and okay, I was just using that as an example to explain um, giving people time to heal and I'm like, it takes a lot of maturity for you to be able to be like, oh yeah, I've messed up and I need to give this person time and give that person time to heal and allow that person to come back when they are ready. Not like when you feel like, okay, it's time for you to come back. So, yes, guys, that is it for this video. I'm so excited, you guys. This video was actually actually fun making. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you feel like there's uh, there are other uh, um, lessons you've learned about friendship and all that, please don't forget to just write it in the comment section. Let's have a discussion about this. And then also, you guys, if you found this video interesting helpful in any way please don't forget to like and subscribe and also press on the notification box just so you get notified every time i upload a new video because i want to start uploading twice a week um so yeah i'm really excited about that and also you guys please let me know in the comment section what you would want to see on my channel if there's if you do vlogging okay i also have like some interesting vlog coming your way is it vlog is it whatever you want to see um i have really interesting videos coming your way but because of the lockdown and the people i'm supposed to do those videos with like they are all in different places so i can't make them at the moment to make those videos but they are coming they are definitely coming so you guys please once again like and subscribe you know we're still trying to grow this channel and if you subscribe please welcome to the family and thank you so much for taking your time to listen to what i have to say i will see you guys in my next video bye